Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original movie Go-Kart. A fearless team leans into the rush of high-speed go-kart racing backed by good friends and a surely ex-driver who becomes his coach. He must overcome tremendous odds and his own recklessness to achieve his dream of winning the National Go-Kart Championship. There are a lot of films about racing in its various forms or films that follow this format. This film follows the entire list of tropes you need to have. Your protagonist needs to be good at something, someone needs to see that he's got talent and then they need to encourage him. He, Your protagonist needs to fall in love with this sport of whatever it is and then he needs to piss everybody off that uh, was helping him, the team, to become the best he can be and then he needs to go and apologize and then he needs Needs to win at the end and that is the formula we've seen so many times from days of thunder to the many many other types of films of this kind and i'd like to say that this film does uh, some new things when it comes to the filming um, of the story of the racing cars um, of the go-kart racing cars but it doesn't it's in a, it's an okay film and i shouldn't judge it its demographic is for a very young audience it's for family members it's an easily film it's an easily it's an easy film to watch uh, on a sunday afternoon or you just want something that's kind of it will lift you up and it has feel good moments the acting is okay but i think that mostly comes down to the adults because the teen um actors are in my opinion not great. If you remember the original Harry Potters and you m remember some of the young actors that were in the first couple of films, you will no doubt have certain memories where you go, sure, because some of the acting was so cheesy, they hadn't learned to act yet. It's a similar feeling I get for this. Not all the time and not with all the actors, but some of them definitely. You'll notice, especially from the bad guys, the, the, the bullies uh, in this film, that uh, they're just it comes across as just bad and cheesy. The, films, the film itself is set in Australia and it, it lends itself to some nice cinematography. Uh, not great, it just it, it's standard. There are some sequences that I thought was very good with the go-kart racing. Um, you might think to yourself, well, how dangerous can it be? Well, these are motorized go-kart uh, little machines and it feels like it's more dangerous so there is a bit of tension there than normal racing cars because there is no shell to protect you at all from it's your you've got your helmet on you're in this little machine that's got like you know you're strapped to a rocket basically and you're traveling around and so if you come off you can quite easily hurt yourself or die as they show in this film I think where this film does work at times is the mentor uh the ex racing driver Richard Roxburgh he is a very good character and he's got some decent backstory they spend a little little bit of time with his backstory and then when the 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 race driver the teen race driver is with him and they're bashing heads that is where it's most fun the kind of the montages where you get the you know no i want to do it that's my, my way there's literally a daniel sun wax on wax off moment where he has to uh, clean the go-karts with his feet with uh, rags and you know he's teaching him how you can you know become stronger and the best driver you can be um, and so those moments I thought were quite good and quite fun to watch it's not the best racing car film you're likely to see but it doesn't need to be it's not rewriting the book it's just a standard Netflix film it's not gonna win any Oscars it's not gonna win any awards but it might make your heart grow one size bigger um, and mine, I think, does need to grow at one size bigger. So it's it's a fun, generic family film that if you need something to click on and watch, uh, then I think you'll enjoy it. It's not brilliant. It's okay. I'm going to give this a standard C. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this film. Are you excited to see it? Have you been waiting to see it? I like the setting. I like some of the actors and I like the premise. It doesn't do anything new. It kind of does what it says on the tin. You know what you're in for when you're going to watch this. Uh, and that's okay. Not every film needs to be Oscar worthy or amazing. Maybe you're just going in to kind of sit back and relax and watch this. You know what you get. It's full of tropes. It's okay. It's a kind of good film. Thanks for watching this review. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this. And until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.